obviously pleased pleased with three points. It was very important for us, and I think the uh, the second goal from Bernard Park was quality, and and we were screaming out for a little bit of that sort of quality. We'd been not showing what we can really do until then, and that was just pure quality. The only trouble is, I think the, there's a few tired legs in there, so I'm not sure how much we're gonna we're gonna get out out of them over the next few days. But uh, happy with the result, not too pleased with the performance. I don't think it was a very pretty game because I think both teams both teams gave away possession far too often and there were lots of turnovers. Amazulu played played a strong a strong game and they and they getting to know the coaches' requirements and sometimes they did well as cakes and sometimes they, they fell down but we didn't capitalize, capitalize all the time on those transitions that we received. Uh, our passing I've never seen it I've never seen it as as poor as that. We did well. The boys followed the instructions for the first uh, 35 minutes, uh, we were nice and organised, we were compact, I think we uh, restric restricted Chiefs uh, their game pattern and uh, unfortunately it was a mistake at the back that led to the, uh, the opening goal. I thought we did well to come back, uh, make a game of it in the, in the second half as, as well and then another mistake uh, with a great goal by Parker, you can't take anything away, very good goal but I thought uh, we played some good football. Uh, with what we have in the squad, I think the players uh, starting to gel. And for us, it'll be a blessing uh, for the break. It'll give us uh, five weeks to prepare. It'll be uh, like a pre-season for me. And it also gives us an opportunity to look to obviously purchase a few players. I don't know where we're going to get the players from uh, because it's pretty tight out there. In the national side, they are struggling for strikers. So, I mean, I'll be looking for uh, a front, I think at the back. And I think we did well in the midfield today. So we need to bolster the squad and... Uh, and hopefully we uh, can find the right players to uh, uh, freshen up the team. Yeah, I think Craig's got Craig's got something that I don't have. He's got the the buying of everybody that he wants to get a few players, and it's difficult. It's difficult when you you top of the league now to try to t explain to people we need to strengthen. But I think if we have a slightest bit of bad luck in Afcon with our players, we could be we could be looking thin. So I've got I've got one eye on the markets and I've got one eye on Afcon and. Uh, I'm hoping that we don't need to go out and buy big, but we may need to. We may need just to bolster it, especially if we get a little bit of bad luck and any of our players get injured in, in the in the Afcon. Bernard Park was struggling. I didn't think he'd be able to play. He was struggling. I spoke to Gordon. I told him I was starting him on the bench because he's not 100%. Uh, he took a couple of whacks now, and he's and he's he's probably going to limp away from the the stadium this evening. So. I'll have a talk to Gordon in the morning, and we'll, I'll give my opinion of, of how the loading on, on uh, Bernard should be, and uh, then it'll be Gordon's show to see how much he plays or he doesn't play. But at the moment, at the moment, I'm, I'm, my my thinking is that Bernard's got an injury, and unless he improves greatly over the next couple of days, he could be struggling for the the Malawi game.